Hey guys, I'm back. Day two of working in my classroom. All the stuff to put away. all the stuff from the last teacher and so I can't use any of my cabinet space yet even though my cabinet space itself is limited this is all that I have her library um, all of that is hers all of that is hers. And this is going to be my agenda board. Where the kids will come in and see what's going on. This is my laptop cart. My laptop hooks right up to my smart board. This whole table is going to be leaving. And this stuff will go into that cabinet. Um, all my Ziplocs, my tissues, my hand sanitizers. This is just a little fun poem book I like to read to the kids. This science project drops a penny. And this is the board that I normally just teach from over on this side of the room. My desk. This is from last year. Um, our mascot, the man array. Pictures, everything you see around here is gonna to need to still be hung up. My desk consists of my quiet signal. Um, all of my writing and erasing supplies. In my desk, I have, always keep thank you notes. And this is my, um, uh, incentive, grade incentive, and I'll explain that um, if you guys are interested. My goodies, uh, extra supplies, extra highlighters, all oh, extra stuff. This was a bag that I just don't feel like going through. It's just, um, I will call this my field trip bag. In my desk. I got these from the dollar store a few years ago, just little uh, boxes. So I've got extra tape for my tape dispenser. I don't know where the rest of my whiteout is, but I know I've got more than one box. And staple, staple, oh, this is really cute. Sharpies to not mix up with my dry erase stuff. Uh, behavior system that I do daily. I give sticker stamps in their agenda daily, so I like to have a variety of stamps. Um, right now I only have in here red and black, but I went to Target and they had a sale on like gold and silver, so I got a lot of those. Um, over here, that's probably going to go back to my center's table, but um, right now these are just empty but I'm one that keeps saying oh my gosh I need more boxes no I don't this is um, how I start keeping track of some of my paperwork I have a, f a few of these that go around the classroom um, as I said this will be where my reference material hey my Nikes 
where my reference material sits. Um, extra scissors. I don't keep these out because I have fourth graders and they're just a little, they can get silly. My treasure box, which is only given out on Fridays. It's full of treasures. Uh, my file cabinet. I guess this it still has a lot of her things in there, so I wasn't able to put a lot in there. Um, the only thing I was able to put in there is like, and this is all my seasonal stuff. Um, you'll see I have so much to still hang up. Um, welcome banner. These are all just you guys know. I'll probably put this in my treasure box. Eraser. Um, this goes on my door, so as soon as you walk in, that's what you see. My name. Um, on my ceiling. These are, uh, growth mindset things. This is the first thing that I teach the kids. You'll notice that a lot of my walls don't have anything educational on there because I don't want to overwhelm them in the beginning. So I just put, um, the first things up that I'm going to teach them. More paperwork file, more catching for paperwork. Um, when parents come in, they can put pencils and erasers in here. Highlighters. Markers, regular markers, dry erase markers. I went up to my old classroom and saw um, my manipulatives of fourth grade. My nails are terrible. Don't worry, next time you see them, they will be done. Um, but just, I'm going to label these so that when parents come in and bring supplies, they can put them right away. Crayons, they don't have a lot. Color pencils glue sticks. Um, everything else was pretty much in here. Just a bunch of math manipulatives. Just a bunch of math manipulatives. Not sure what these are going to be yet. I'm thinking I'm probably going to use these as center baskets because I usually keep my center things um, over here, but you'll see that I can't do that this year. This is just um, glitter sticks. And these will be just like extra supplies, like dice and things like that. This is just pretty, but I'll put like little extra things in there just so that they know right where to grab them. I'm not, ex I might even move this over to my desk. I'm not sure yet. Um, sticky notes, index cards, tape. Um, yeah, I don't need boxes. I have a lot of extra boxes, so these are all used as centers at one point in time in the past. I cannot get rid of that. It was given to me by an old teacher, um, and it's just gorgeous. I, it's broken. Maybe my husband can fix it. But in here, um, I don't know why I never get rid of folders, but I have years and years worth of old folders. You just never know. Um, these are just random teaching supplies. I use a lot of these things for like my morning um, messages, my morning meetings, and um, these are like for writing and things like that that go in their notebooks. Some centers things. I've already told you what I do with the map, maps. Scrabble up here will go all of my uh, teacher manuals when I go get them next week. These, all this stuff needs to go on my walls um, at different points periods. I don't put it all on there in the beginning because I haven't told them about it yet. So, like, we don't know anything about partial quotes or um, they should know subtraction words, so that'll go up pretty early. Um, descriptive words when we start getting into writing in a couple weeks. And these are all just, like, different anchor charts that go up at different points in time, like main idea, theme, stuff like that. Um, extra paper. I used to keep these as file folders, but I don't want to throw them away. So I'm not going to throw them away just yet. I may end up donating these um, when the new teachers come in next week. And then um, extra construction paper. And then that's extra border that I haven't used yet. Um, over here is my turn-in station. So orange is normally for on-time work. Pink is normally for center's work, and then um, blue is for ongoing work. Um, so current work, centers, 
and then ongoing work. And then, of course, I'm probably going to label all that, but, of course, that's all explained to them um, just to minimize papers with no names. I don't know. I found that a few years ago, and it was neat. Um, extra binders, level books for the year. These are my small group supplies. Um, it's not full yet, but of course you always, always need pens, highlighters, markers, scissors. And I'll probably end up even move um, some glue over here because we always do a lot of cut and paste and sensors. Um, these, I like to just throw these little things at them. <laughs> not throw them, but you get it. Um, give them these little things during sensors. My room, I'm here early because I'm a team lead, and as a team lead, they wanted to be able to show the new teachers what the rooms should look like, such as um, Kagan structures and things like that. So this is why I'm here early, but I left those on my table so that they can see kind of how I use them. I don't really use them in whole group. I more use those in small group. Um, clipboards, bathroom manager. And pencil manager, which I'm thinking about having someone decorate those really cool this year. This is all just my small group paperwork. Um, and then, of course, it'll all be color-coded this year. Each student will have their own uh, folder in here. And I'll go over how I um, do my paperwork for small group if you guys are interested. And then down here, like, this is all um, their information uh, and then down here goes um, what I'm going to actually be teaching. So this will be separated by groups as well. And I go by the rainbow, red, orange, Roy G. Biv, R O Y, red, orange, yellow, and then green is how I do my four groups. Uh, these are seat sacks. They go on the back of the seat. All these things have to be hung up. Um, this is my border for... Um, Current anchor charts that I'm currently teaching. They go there, my anchor charts that I'm currently teaching. This surrounds my map. It's a world map cloth that was gifted to me. Where is it? Um, it's somewhere around here. It was gifted to me, so that circles that world map, world people. Um, who's in our classroom goes right here. So in the beginning of the year, it's just an introduction of who's in the class. And then throughout the year, this changes to our Look What I Can Do board. Um, something from my mother. And it's just, uh, I hang it up. The kids really thought it was cute. This all gets hung up. So like I said, when they first come in, we start talking about building relationships and talking about um, growth mindset. And so this all goes along with growth mindset. Oh, great readers, that doesn't go up yet. Um, I use this for small groups. So when I'm back here teaching small group, I just pull it over to the side and I can demonstrate whatever I need to. My library is still upstairs. It's too heavy and I couldn't find anyone to help me down with it. But how it goes is the library is there and then all the way around is um, milk crates, and then I have some little um, uh, seat covers or pillows that go all the way around there, and the kids absolutely love it. And then this doubles, this space doubles as our morning meeting space. So, of course, I move that out of the way, and then we form a circle over here in our morning meeting space. Uh, but that's it for now. That's my classroom tour for day two. These are our reference books. They're going to go behind my desk. Um, but that's it for day two. So stay tuned, and we'll see you on day three of getting ready for the school. Oh, wait a minute before I go. I wanted to show you how I set my desk up. So when the kids walk in, the first thing they come and they see the accountability talk. This is what I expect um, when we're having discussions. Um, sentence starters and then they also have I tell them not to write on it but at the end of this year all I have is about eight of them left um, but I give them the cursive alphabet because we don't learn it anymore but I still I write in cursive so I want them to see it um, 
And, and it just gives them a whole bunch of great things that fourth graders really, really need to know. And this is fourth grade specific. As you see, place value goes to the millions and then goes to the thousands uh, in decimals. And then they also learn fractions and things like that. Um, so that's how I set all the desks, desks up at the beginning of the year. And these actually do go up at the beginning of the year. Um, and they're going to actually populate this entire wall. So it's just um, different reading strategies and different, I want to say genres, but there's other things in here um, besides just genre. But most of them are genre. And so I hang, I put those, I'm going to put those right here this year. But that's it for today. I'm not hanging anything up. I'll be back in Monday morning. We're going to the Bahamas for the weekend. So we'll be back on Monday morning to come back in and try and get more of my classroom done. Bye.